good morning guys it is 4 45 a.m sunday april 22nd we're pulling up to a gas station right now with jason uh me and kevin in the mustang we're meeting this guy named dan with this beautiful 993 so i didn't really give an intro to this video so we're going to the fifth annual lufkin cult show which is a massive um event that is uh, organized around the classic air-cooled Porsches uh, of the past and it's a major event uh, <clears throat> founded by Patrick Long who's a big-time Porsche guy and everything got Kevin with me here today we woke up uh, at like 3 to meet up with some guys and then be in LA by 5 because we're gonna do some uh, photo shoot and, and videos and stuff and I'm talking really slow because I'm tired of shit <laughs> and so it's gonna be cool we're gonna take photos videos meet up with everybody and then from here in uh, LA we're gonna roll out to Torrance where this show is so we'll see you guys in a second So most of the guys are here right now. I just uh, got my 911 cool shirt from Drew. You guys can figure out what you guys want to do together as a group and then from there you guys can you know he's coming back Charles is coming back and then um, the rest of us are obviously going in you guys are hopping in with us all right you hear that damn that's loud <laughs> so we're leaving lower grand right now the sun is finally up what is it 6 18 in the morning so yeah when when this all started it was 3 a.m. basically now it's 6 a.m. Oh, I love that view. Look at that. Lower Grand in Los Angeles. We're going to start heading out to Torrance, where the show is going to be held. And I'm starving because I've been awake for like practically 48 hours. <laughs> it was that morning octane yesterday, and then I didn't sleep not last night, basically, and now I'm here. So, so we're going to get some food and some coffee, get some fuel in us so we can be ready for the show and all the insanity happens. super empty because the show is at uh, eight, eight no nine right at nine. <laughs> we're gonna get some McDonald's and bring it back so we can eat in the parking lot so we're here in the car park um, waiting for like two hours <laughs> for the shuttle to take us to the show and this Cayman GT4 pulls up and right away I telling Kevin I was like what the heck that's a PTS color I've never seen a Cayman GT4 in, in the color of this so we approached the owner and I asked him, I asked him what color it was. Like pretty, I was like pretty sure it was Brewster Green. And then sure enough, this dude has a one of one Cayman GT4 in PTS Brewster Green. And he tracks it. 
that guy is not a legend, I don't know who is. <laughs> The, the color, you have to see it in person, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of hard yeah, to find it at, at its good angles. Yeah. <clears throat> and then actually right before that came in, GT popped up. Me and Kevin were stepping our faces with some McGriddles and this freaking thing rolled up. Y'all know what this is? CLK 63 AMG black series I can't even remember I think the last time I saw one of these was like at a cars and coffee last year and it was white I think but yeah this thing is savage if you know what this is if you know cars you know Mercedes a lot you know what this is and how crazy these cars are So, uh, me and Kevin have general admission, so we have to wait till 9 o'clock. And it's 8 o'clock right now, so... This is light. Yeah. But I'm in the front of the line. <laughs> Alright, so they started letting us uh, walk in now. So, here we go, Kevin. We're about to walk into Loom 5. Look at that. Our first sight, dude. Oh, check this out. It's a 356 right there in original condition. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What do I... Well, so this is crazy. They took this entire lumber yard and they just placed cars all over the place. Where, oh my God, this is insane. First sections and it's there's already it's insanity here but we're still in the first little section um, we've barely scratched the surface right now you got a couple 911 race cars here this is a 964 RSR Carrera race car I think that's like a 935 that's the Interscope uh, 935 turbo race car just look at the way this body was designed to go fast. You guys, 964 Turbo S Latch Bowl. I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but this is truly rare right here. So needless to say, it's freaking crazy. Like 964 Turbo S Latch Bowl. 964 Carrera RS. It's crazy. We've only been here for like 15 minutes and we've only seen like two sections. I'm overwhelmed with how much is actually here and what I want to film. How you doing, brother? Ready, Kev, to see, see some more? Yeah. Yeah, this is insane, you guys. Look at this. The freaking slant nose turbo, dude. <laughs> this is crazy. Turbo. You guys look a 959, a freaking blue 959. So, uh, if you guys 
guys know what Canapa Cars is, you probably know what that is. That's the uh, Porsche 959, which they are calling the 959 SC. Um, fully custom restored by Canapa Cars. Um, yeah, that thing is insane. They've refinished the wheel. They've pretty much restored the whole car. Did the whole custom interior. Um, the gentleman that works for Canapa said they completely reassembled the suspension did everything brand new the engine had been completely rebuilt it's insane it's just a fully rebuilt restored 959 it's absolutely wild I have nothing to say about it but it's insane just look at it between all of that way down over there on the other side as well you guys this is crazy <laughs> Okay, if I just wanna. by Porsche themselves. He has the plaque from Porsche saying that this is a one of one spec of this car. Only one in the world like it. So we took a little break. It's getting a little hot around here. And uh, <clears throat> I stopped filming for a while because I wanted to actually take in all the cars with my own eyes rather than just looking at all of it through my iPhone. So. <laughs> about like an hour in I was like yeah I need to put my phone away and just just walk around and take this all in so um, the guys are all behind me taking a little chill really quick in the shade and then it'll probably uh, roll through all together this time because it was it's been me and Kevin by ourselves <laughs> we keep getting separated but but yeah so whew, I'm telling you guys the cars here are insane you know what? It's, uh, my, I didn't bring the new car because my buddy didn't get it, so I gave him my spot. Uh -huh. So I just brought one of my cars. But uh, I brought a bunch of merch. You're online, right? I'm I know. Yeah. I go to your website. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I go look at car, fit, car events on your forum page so that none of your buddies are keeping up for you. Oh, <laughs> oh, I just called out the whole squad. You go deep, man. I need to get busy back there in the peanut gallery. <laughs> Doug, man. Doug, Andrew. He's got that. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go on top of this uh, parking structure to see if we can get a nice bird's eye view of uh, all the Porsches and all the people. The new 
this is just like half of it kind of this is there's still a ton of Porsches over there some more on this side of the building and some all the way over there inside some warehouses as well we've just met so many people heard so many stories learned so much it's absolutely amazing I can't believe that it's that it's here we're actually on top of a parking structure here at Luft and the car park has some freaking insane cars because the only cars that are down there in the show are all air-cooled cars so there's some pretty sick water-cooled cars up here first off the brand new Panamera 4S Sport Turismo it's basically a wagon the interior is beautiful on this car check this out though 91 Point one GT3 RS. It's just parked in the corner like no one knows it's even here. Yeah, um, fun facts for those of you that don't know 991.1 GT3 RS, naturally aspirated, uh, flat six, of course, 500 horsepower, uh, Porsche carbon ceramic brakes, and uh, this one only available in the dual clutch PDK transmissions. PDK, it's gotta be a point two. Yes it is, it is a point two, a turbo S. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this car is super fast. One of my uh, good friends is in love with this car here. This is the BMW. 1M. Very rare car. Just so you guys can see, there's more Porsches in there. So many over here. Look at this. I honestly just want to take a moment to keep looking at this 0.2 Turbo S because you just don't see these around where I live. <laughs> I looked a little more at it and it has like the carbon fiber steering wheel. It just looks menacing. Wow, owner of this car is such a nice gentleman. He just gave me and my friends these awesome uh, Luft Peterson hats. Thank you guys. Thank you. Give us this. <laughs> oh yeah, the top's going down. See, Porsche people side. are the best people. Thank you. <laughs> Mick and the Porsche people. So that was super cool. That gentleman was really nice. I just was talking about how I love his uh, Point 0.2 Turbo S and he's like, thanks guys, here's some Luf Peterson hats from the exclusive event that like nobody got to go to. So now we have the hats too because that guy was just super cool. Okay, so I was just talking about the hat and Dennis was like, Sam, hold up. Wait up, Broski. Look over there and look what's over there. You guys, this is the first time I'm seeing one of these in real life. Yes, that is right. A 997.2 GT2 RS. You gotta be kidding me right now. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me right now. Look at this. It's just hiding up here in this parking garage. This thing is in a manual. When this came out, this was the most powerful 911 no, in the world. Here. Well, look over here. Black Carrera GT. The same one, no, that's not it. The same one from the Decades of uh, Disruption film that I've made a post of before. I'm gonna take 100 photos of just this car right now. So if you know about GT2s and GT2 RSs, you know that one, each new GT2 came out is the fastest, most powerful, yeah. crazy 911 ever to come from the factory. And so when they started making the GT2, uh, well, the first GT2 was a 993, I believe. But then when they made the 996 GT2, it earned the name of Widowmaker because of how fast and dangerous it, it was, I guess so much car to handle so much power and it's, it's manual transmission. This thing is incredible. And so this is the 997, it produced the GT2 and they made the GT2 RS, which is this right here. Very, very rare car indeed. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, 
absolutely crazy to see one in person. Honestly, this video is probably going to be like freaking half an hour long, but I don't care. So let's see what we can find. I decided to come back into the uh, the beginning part of where we, we started all of this just so I can get some final shots of the cars. And since now there's less people here, we can kind of get better shots. So right now, uh, Andrew and I, and Dennis and Kevin, um, <clears throat> we just took a photo in front of this roof with Mr. Roof himself, the founder of the company Roof. The, they make and modify Porsches, even newer Porsches as well. It was absolutely amazing. Andrew, I need that photo ASAP, please. I have to share that photo with you guys. Incredible, I couldn't believe it. So that's it guys, Lufkin Colt's over. What a fantastic event. I don't even know how to describe it. It's gonna take me a couple days to come up with words to accurately depict how incredible this event was. And so this is my outro, I guess. We saw so many Porsches of all kinds, 911s of all generations and I'll just do this closing shot with this beautiful 964 Carrera RS. Yeah, guys, if this turns out to be a vlog and you watch the whole thing, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Kevin, thank you for coming. This was amazing. Until next time, you guys. Peace out.